Welcome to the EEA Awards. Thanks for being here. Can you tell us the name of your firm and the project that brings you here tonight? Well, the name of the firm is HNTB Corporation. Our client is the Bureau of Engineering for the City of Los Angeles, and the project is a Sixth Street Viaduct. Tell us a little bit about this project and what it means for the community. Julie, do you want to? Sure. Um, so we were replacing the original bridge that was built in 1932 that was a beloved landmark for the city of Los Angeles. And this new bridge has now created just a wonderful place for people to gather and have pride in the city. And it's something that people like to go visit just to see and to be a part of. So it's, it's a wonderful thing for the community. And I could add something to that, too, because at, right after it opened, you know, it still spent time out. They were still working on punch lists. And so people on the bridge had no idea who I was, for example, I worked on it, but I'd stop by and talk to them. And, you know, down to everyone, they really were excited about the bridge. They really were happy with the finished product and everything. And it was really rewarding to see the community embrace it, uh, you know, to that high amount. Tell us a little bit about what makes this bridge different. Well, it's, it's very unique. It's, um, you know, we, it, it, one, one thing that's very special about it is seismically isolated. And it's, we believe it to be the longest uh, tide network arch bridge, the seismic isolated in the bridge. So it has a high level of seismic performance. And the project actually started out as a seismic retrofit pro uh, project. Unfortunately, the original aggregate uh, was uh, uh, subject to, in layman's term, it's called concrete cancer, but it's, uh, technically it's called alkali silica aggregate. So what started out as a seismic retrofit pro uh, project morphed into a full replacement. Um, so the seismic performance is, is very good now. It will go through a, a thousand year seismic event without any damage. Uh, there's a lot of new te technology on it. It's the first bridge in California that uses type uh, 80 uh, concrete reinforcement. Um, uh, it's uh, another thing that's uh, good about the bridge is the way it incorporates the community. There's a, a park under construction right now and so we wanted to make the bridge not just a, a multimodal form of transportation but make it a destination point so there's stairs and bicycle ramps taking users down to the community down to use the park below it what does it mean to be recognized by your peers who appreciate the technical aspects of the bridge and also how well it integrates into the community i i would say that you know it's not recognizing just Mike and, and Julie, but it's also the team behind it. I mean, a project of this magnitude takes a lot, a, a very large team, and hard work over many, many years. And uh, I tell you, it is exciting because there's so much details that go into the project, but there's a lot of individuals that put a lot of hard work towards making this project a reality, and uh, it's very exciting. Um, and the community, too, it's, it's a recognition of the community too. It's a very iconic bridge. So. Shows what's possible. Yes, great to be here. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you very much.